Hey, what's going on guys? This is Mike, and in this video, I'm just going to show you how to do a simple cube effect, or uh, it could also be used for like a Minecraft cube, um, kind of giving it some 3D motion, and, and it'll be a pretty cool effect. So let's uh, name this tutorial. I believe this is eight. I might have messed that up, but it might, have, it might not be eight, but uh, duration 10 seconds looks good to me. Um, we'll start there. So I'm actually just going to lower this music that I'm listening to. There it is. So <clears throat> let's just, I guess, start by just creating a solid layer. Layer, new, solid, and uh, that kind of off-white. Oh, that's too white. Let's uh, bring it down just a tad. Give it kind of an off-white look. Uh, I'm just going to come down here, lock the layer, shy it, and now I can't grab it or, or do anything with it, which is great. So um, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to import some um, graphics from... Uh, Minecraft. So we'll use Minecraft as an example to, to make this cube. So let's come into here. Uh, got some objects somewhere. Okay, here we go. I'm just going to drag these into the project pane. So now essentially what I have is I have a Minecraft, the top, I guess, block of a Minecraft block and, uh, and the side of a Minecraft block. So let's start. We only need one top. So we'll pin that right in the middle. And then we'll bring in the side. So I'm just going to duplicate this three times so that way uh, we can, or actually we need this four times. What am I thinking? I don't know math. So <clears throat> what I'm going to do here is, is this kind of cube turns these layers into, um, how do you say it? I, I guess 3D layers. So I'm going to gonna hold it down and I'm just going to drag them. Now they're all 3D layers. So now they could be moved in uh, uh, X, Y, and Z axis. So what I'm going to do down here is I'm going to come down to uh, views and I think two views should be good. So pretty much what this does is is uh, This will give me the top view. This will give me the side view. So um, For example, if I grab this layer, I can move it. I can move it forward and backwards and it actually goes to the other layers so um, What we're gonna want to do is is this I believe is the is the top layer. We want to rotate this on its uh, Let's see on its Z axis or X axis. So we're gonna rotate this 90 degrees. So now that that's titled, titled 90 degrees, um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the other layers, which are the sides. I'm actually gonna rename this. Right click, rename. I'm just gonna name that top. Uh, and then I'm gonna rename all of these um, using my motion script here um, from MoGraph. I'm gonna actually just rename all of these really easily. You could you could rename them um, by right clicking and hitting rename, or you could just use this tool, and that's what I'm gonna do. So I just renamed them all side, and then it uh it names them side one, two, three, and four. So um, again, you didn't need to do that. You could just right click and hit rename and just rename them all that way. So um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna rotate all of these, but we're gonna rotate them slightly different. So obviously for the different sides. I believe we want to rotate it on this axis, yes. Yeah. So we're going to rotate this one 90, and we're going to rotate this one 90. So pretty much what that just did was now we have all of our sides. So what I did, I highlighted them, and I hit you on the keyboard to, to, to close all the panes. So taking this top layer, I'm actually going to come up here. I'm going to press Y on the keyboard, or I could press this tool up here. I'm going to move this center point to the top right, or the, the, the bottom, the top right, exact opposite, the bottom left corner. And I'm gonna do kind of the same thing on all these layers. I'm just gonna kind of move them to the corners. Uh, this way, when I move the objects, I can make sure that it, they're actually in the corners um, when I when I pair up the, the shapes. So it doesn't really matter which corner I put them in. I'm just doing this, um, Just I'll just put them in different corners just for the sake of it. But ultimately, um, when I move these shapes around, I want them to, to be paired up at the corners perfectly. So I'm gonna grab this layer, I'm gonna drag it drag it this way and then I'm going to try to pin it onto the onto this top layer so I'm actually going to just move all of these out of the way so that way um, I don't have any any layers kind of getting in my way so okay see so I actually moved this this corner piece in the wrong area because you notice this is that this is um, against the grain here I'm just going to drag this and I th think we're going to want to put it at the bottom there so now I'm just gonna drag this layer out of the way. So now that we have all the layers kind of spread out, let's drag this and see if we can't get it to match up perfectly. Perfect. Um, so now this top layer is now kind of pinned 
against the other layer. Let's see if I can get a, uh, a better view here. So that didn't work. Uh, let's see. Okay, well, th these views just aren't, aren't that great, but um, we'll just keep working. So we know that this layer is good, so I'm just gonna pin this to the top. Uh, so now I'm just gonna move the top up and it should move both the layers in, and it just did. So now I'm gonna grab this layer and I'm gonna bring it back here, but I'm just gonna, I guess, pin it, try to pin it onto the onto the actual, uh, onto, the, onto the top layer again. Oh, it just keeps going crazy. This is this is the kind of hard part, and you could do it. You could do it by hand manually. It just you just can't guarantee that it's in the perfect spot. So I'm just going to kind of move these uh, into position and just validate that they are in the right spot. See, so it actually looks like it's a little high. Um, let's see if I can't get it, and I think I might have just gotten it. No, I didn't. I didn't, I thought I did. It, it snapped to the wrong corner. There it is. Now it's snapped in the perfect, in the right spot. So now I'm gonna take these side layers and pretty much do the exact same thing. Uh, and now it, is, it isn't easy to get them to kind of snap in the right spot, but once you do get them kind of near it, it's a lot easier to kind of, uh, to kind of get it to snap in the right spot. So again, now this is the last layer and I'm just going to drag it into, into position. I think I had it. Oh, that's so close. So kind of, oh, that's totally messed up. Uh, Control Z on the keyboard, or a Command Z, I believe, uh, on Mac. We'll move that for you. Or we'll, we'll, we'll uh, re undo that. Oh, you know what? It might be in the, no, it's not quite in the right spot. There it is, now it's in the right spot. So now I'm just gonna pair all of these to the top, um, or what I could do is I could just create a new um, null object and just pin them all to the null object. Um, I'm also gonna wanna make sure that the null object is, is also um, in 3D. I'm gonna come down to, to the views here and I'm just gonna go back down to one view. So now what I could do here is I could actually rotate this um, around an axis and kind of, uh, you know, uh, it's 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 cube like it looks like a cube um, but what you notice is that um, these layers are not perfectly in the center of the object so that when I that way when I rotate this it's kind of not really rotating on the bottom you don't really need the bottom by the way um, but when it's rotating it, it kind of doesn't really rotate around like a, a good center so let's see here there's a couple things that you could do uh, the first you could just move the null object point um, to kind of the center of the object you can put up some grids and kind of try to move these um, as best that you can um, into the center it might be kind of kind of hard but because of this is all this is all a cube it's 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 not too bad so that's kind of a, a good alternative but again there we're still kind of in the z-axis not really um, in, a, in a good position so um, let's highlight all of these and mat marry these to the top and let's uh, let's get this top to be in the center um, or at least in the same position as as the other null object. So let's see exactly how we want to do this. Okay, so how I did that, essentially what I did was I moved the center point of the top square into the center of the object, obviously, and then I came over back to the side view and um, I just, I matched it up uh, uh, perfectly into the center here. So this should look about right. And if it doesn't look absolutely perfect, you're probably okay if you just make this 30 degrees um, and make it spin. Uh, you should get a pretty good effect here. Let's just get rid of the uh, proportional grids. Um, but that is just a very quick way uh, to, to, to allow for a 3D object in After Effects without really having to do too much extra work. Now, um, again, you can make this perfect or, or you know, maybe match it up even a little bit better. Um, you could even do this in other programs, but I noticed that if you just need to do a simple 3D block like Minecraft, doing it like this is probably the easiest way. It's just real fast and it's pretty simple. Um, but overall, um, there probably are better tools to do this. Again, this is the way I do it. It's the it's the easiest way that I've that I've found to just do a simple um, 3D cube, and it's pretty close. You can't really see it, see too many cracks, which um, is 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 the best. Uh, is, is 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 means that that we got a good outcome, and that the seams are are 
pretty almost almost seamless. So um, if this video helped you at all, um, please give this video a like and as well as subscribing to my YouTube channel. Um, and if you want to see all of these, I guess, tutorials kind of used in actual videos, um, what you could do is you can go follow my actual YouTube account, my main account, where I do kind of sciencey type videos with games and, you know, pop culture stuff. So uh, again, leave a comment down below if you did enjoy the video and uh, thanks for watching.